Good morning, everyone. Hey, it's great to see you guys this morning. Today is Monday. We're starting another week at home in quarantine. Um, another week not at school, but it's still going to be another great week. Okay, so I hope that you are sitting down, ready to listen, and you're going to participate with me with your voice. Okay, because I need your help. I can't just do this all by myself. Um, I need your help to do the calendar. We're going to do our calendar. You see it's empty because we started a new month. So when I saw you guys last, it was April, and now we started a brand new month. So let's sing our months of the year song to figure out what comes next. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Okay, so it is May. May. Okay, so we're going to, now Friday, um, you guys had a guest video with Brittany. I'm going to scoot you guys a little closer. Okay, so Friday was the first, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the weekend days. So I have one, two, three, and today is the fourth, and it's the start of our school week, so that means today is Monday. It's Monday, May, Fourth, a lot of M's. So we're gonna write the word May. Does anyone know what letter it starts with? Mm. It starts with the M, and we always capitalize it because it is a proper noun. M A Y May. It's the month of May. We're gonna have lots of flowers. Warm weather is coming. Things are blooming. Those are my flowers. <laughs> okay, so it is May 4th. Um, Monday, new week. What's your weather like outside? Take a peek out your window. What's it doing out there? It's really sunny at my house. There's like no clouds in the sky at all. What's it doing there? Nice. It's a great day to get some schoolwork done, get some reading done. I know you guys can do it because you guys are so smart. And I'm so proud of all the work you're doing. So keep it up, okay? Keep up the good work. Remember to use your strategies. Let's all take a big deep breath before we do our story, okay? Deep breathing can help us calm down if we're feeling upset or worried. So let's all take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Let's do two more. And one more. All right. Nice and relaxed. Ready to read our story for today? So today we have, it's called Nuffle Bunny Free by Mo Williams. So Mo Williams was the same author that read that uh, wrote the pigeon books. Uh, Don't let the pigeon stay up late. And pigeon wants a puppy. There's actually a lot of pigeon books, um, and they're all really funny. Um, but he also made this book, and there's a couple other Nuffle Bunny books too. Uh, we might read another one next week, but today we're gonna read Nuffle Bunny Free. So do you see a bunny in the picture? Yeah, I do too, right here. It's like a little stuffed bunny, a toy. So let's see what happens with our Nuffle Bunny. So we open our book and there's pictures of um, our, our bunny here. And it looks like maybe some parents. All right, let's see. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. 
So it looks like Trixie is our main character. Trixie is the character that owns Nuffle Bunny. Nuffle Bunny is hers. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is far away. It sure is. So her grandparents, some of you guys might call uh, your grandparents' grandma or grandpa. Trixie calls hers Oma and Opa. So they meant taking, so that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Nuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting onto a real airplane. So to get to Holland, you have to take a taxi to the airport, and then you got to get on an airplane to fly there. On the plane, Trixie played and read and slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to... So they took a taxi, they took an airplane, and now they're taking a train to go to Oma and Opa's house. Oma and Opa were happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. What do you think she realized? Yeah. Trixie didn't tell her um, uh, Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Nuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. Yeah, okay. I, sorry, I thought I skipped a page, but I didn't. You think so you think her dad already knew. Trixie's dad called the airline and asked them to look for Nuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Trixie's mom hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's dad told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to a special lammy. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. So do you think Trixie's doing okay after losing Nuffle Bunny? So Trixie knew she was getting big, even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to that cafe and... Uh, swings in the playground and the carnival that was in town. But look at Trixie's face. Does she look really happy? No, she's trying, but she's still not very happy. And while the whole week was filled with fun things like eating french fries in the street, visiting real windmills and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Nuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. So she's doing her best. She's worried and she's sad, but she's still trying to enjoy all the things that are fun. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new Funny Bunny Woody doll. Extreme. It could walk. It could dance. It could speak in Dutch. Uh, but it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. So they thought maybe getting her a new bunny might help her feel better. But she just missed her old one. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without Nuffle Bunny. Before she knew it, she was dreaming. And the next morning, Trixie felt better. Now look at our book here. It opens up really big. Let's see. She dreamed of Nuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. So she dreamed that Nuffle Bunny went on this really great adventure. 
Nuffle Bunny would be, she dreamed of how Nuffle Bunny would make them feel better. So she, Trixie was dreaming that if someone else, some other kid found her bunny, that they, that Nuffle Bunny would make them happy. And that made her feel better. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. So after she had that dream and thought about all the great things Nuffle Bunny would be doing, she, it made her feel better. She was a little happier. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back into the train and back onto the plane and listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. Wah! There's a crying baby back there. But can you believe it? Right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. What do you think she noticed? Nuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Nuffle Bunny back in her arms. Happy enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, Would your baby like my Nuffle Bunny? So it says, Mom says, Really? Really? And... Um, and Trixie's mom said, really? And then the baby said, blah, 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 blah. Ask the baby. And Trixie says, really, said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. And Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. Man, there's a lot of feelings in this book. So the baby was happy to have Nuffle Bunny, and the baby's mother was thankful. You can feel thankful for good things that happen. And that is how, a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. So it looks like the baby um, and the baby's mom wrote a letter telling Trixie about all the great things that Nuffle Bunny did. A note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to uh, watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package. What do you think the package will be? From an old pen pal. Love, Daddy. So maybe someday the Nuffle Bunny will come back to her when she's grown up and has her own baby. So I hope you enjoyed Nuffle Bunny. Nuffle Bunny Free talked about a lot of different feelings. So as you're going about your day today, um, really try to think about your feelings. What are you feeling today? And what are some good ways to show those feelings? If you're really happy, you can smile, you can laugh, um, and do fun things. If you're feeling sad, um, maybe you can think about positive things, think about things that make you happy. Um, maybe if you're worried, you could go for a walk or write a letter, do some coloring. Or maybe you're just feeling really thankful. Maybe you feel thankful for having a new iPad or ha being thankful for having all the great stuff that you guys have. Um, we are all filled with emotions all the time. And that's why we talk about them all the time. Because we need to. It, it helps us go about our day better when we can identify our feelings and know what to do when we are feeling those feelings. So I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you practice identifying your emotions today and every day. And I hope you use your strategies for when you're feeling different feelings. All right. I miss you guys, and I will see you next time in the next video. Bye.